the hearing. And therefore, I welcome all of you this morning. We have a few agenda items that we will deal with this morning. I also like to, the Commission would like to also express its satisfaction on the service provider who, who is giving a lot of assistance in the way things are run in this Commission of Inquiry, the technical team. And so as the participation of people that are coming here to support this commission of inquiry. I have always stated from the beginning that it is a public inquiry, and therefore it is important that in the interest of this nation, uh, we need to know what is happening to our country, what are issues that are being addressed as we move forward for the betterment of our children, and future offspring that when we are not around, they leave the legacy to see what has happened. So this morning, I'm grateful again to welcome all of you. But before I go any further, Council, take us through this morning. Thank you. Good morning, Commissioner. Morning. Commissioner, please. Four items on this morning's diary, Commissioner. Now, Commissioner, if I could indicate that one item relates to a summons returnable relating to the Prime Minister, the other three matters relate to applications for leave to appear. So if I could call the first item, Commissioner, agenda number one, in, rating, in relation to summons number 21, issued to the Prime Minister, Honorable James Marape. Yes. Now, Commissioner, Gemma Lawyers Act for the Prime Minister. I understand Mr. Jew of that firm is in attendance this morning. Perhaps I can invite him to formally enter his appearance this morning. Thank you. Good morning, Commissioner. Good Dr. morning. Uh, my name is Ju Inseles for Cedric, uh, appearing for the Prime Minister of the Independent State of Papua New Guinea. Yes. Uh, Commissioner, uh, right now uh, the Prime Minister is uh, not present due to the parliament sitting and his uh, busy schedules. So he's, uh, he has requested if we can seek an adjournment, adjournment date. Speak up, please speak up. Uh, Commissioner, right now uh, for summons number 21, for the Prime Minister to be present here. Uh, right now he is not here due to the BC schedule and the uh, Parliament sitting, so he has uh, requested if we can seek an adjournment. Council? Commission, please. As I discussed with my friend this morning and also his principal, namely Mr. McRonald Nale, Mr. McNally did indicate that the Prime Minister would attend on the 18th of October, that's next week, Tuesday, at 10 a.m. So in those circumstances, Commissioner, given the Prime Minister's unavailability due to Parliament sittings this morning, if you could extend summons number 21 to Tuesday, 18th October, 2022, at 10 a.m. for mention. Thank you, Council. The, the reasons are quite obvious, and they are reasonable uh, due to the national issues Parliament sitting is on. 
And therefore, in consideration to that, the Commission directs that Samos number 21, which is the Honorable Prime Minister, is now further extended to the 18th, which is Tuesday, 18th of October 2022, at 10 a.m. for Minson. Dated the 13th day of October 2022 and authorized by the Commission. Thank you. This, if uh, Mr. Joe could be excused, Commissioner. Yes, thank you for your presence this morning. You can now be excused from the bar table. Thank you. <coughs> yes, Council. As the Commission pleases, moving on to the balance of the matters on today's list relating to leave applications, Commissioner, you will note numbered six, seven, and eight. What Council proposes to do this morning is to mention each of them individually, but the status and the position in relation to each of them, Commissioner, is that we do not, we do not object to the applications to the extent that leave ought be granted for those respective applicants to appear in relation to term of reference, I meant rather amended terms of reference, paragraph one, subparagraph D, in brackets, quadruple D, Commissioner. So what I propose to do is to call the application separately for the respective representatives to enter the appearance and for the commission to then formally grant leave as submitted, Commissioner. So in that regard, Commissioner, if I can call agenda item number two, in respect of leave application number six, brought by Nenehi Lorena, ILG Tatana Village Chairman, namely Mr. No Gagawa Raigo, if he could be invited to enter his appearance in respect of his application, Commissioner. Thank you. Good morning. Uh, Mr. Commissioner. Good morning. My name is No, N O U. Say name is Gagoa, G A G O A. And Gago is my grandfather's name. Yeah. Thank you, Mr. Commissioner. Uh, prior to the adjournment extension from the 6th of October, and uh, we have been directed that. Uh, today we'll be hearing for our application. So if uh, Mr. Commissioner will allow me to go through my affidavit that I'm relying on, then I will do so. Thank you. Thank you. I'm so. Commissioner, as I indicated, we do not object to the application insofar as the application is made to have a right for leave to be granted to Mr. Raigo. Commissioner, to that extent, we submit that based on the material, it is evident that they ought to be granted leave. And as such, we, to, in the interest of time, Commissioner, we submit that the Commission simply issue a direction in the following terms namely that Mr. No Kagawa Gaigo is granted leave to appear with any legal representatives in relation to amended term of reference one paragraph D sub paragraph quadruple D. So those are, those are essentially the directions we seek without, uh, without a formal hearing being necessary. Thank you, uh, Council. 
consideration have been given to that in light of the situation. And therefore, in the interest of the commission and in respect of the LIP application number six, the commission directs that number one, Mr. No Kagoa Gaigo is granted Amen, amended to appear with any legal representatives in relation to terms of reference number one and in bracket D, 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 close. Dated this 13th day of October 2022 and authorized by the commission. Thank you, Council. Just for, just for the record, Yes. The directions, I'll just read that just to clarify. The direction should be as follows, and the commissioner can just confirm it by saying correct, that in respect of leave application number six, the commission directs that Mr. No Gagoa Raigo is granted leave to appear with any legal representatives in relation to amended terms of reference one, paragraph D, subparagraph quadruple G, R, D. Thank you, uh, Council. Uh, I'll read it again. In respect of leave application number six, the commission directs that Mr. No Gagoa Gaigo <coughs> is granted leave to appear with any legal representative in relation to amended terms of reference one, and in bracket D, 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 close bracket. Dated this 13th day of October 2022 and authorized by the commission. Thank you, Council. Mr. Commission, please. Mr. Commissioner, if Mr. Raigo could be excused from the bar table. Thank you, uh, Mr. Raigo, for your presence this morning. You can now be excused from the bar table. Thank you, Mr. Commissioner. Thank you. Commissioner, moving on to item number three is in respect of leave application number seven brought by Araira Laura Bada Community Tatana Araira Village. If we could invite the representative of the applicant to enter an appearance. Uh, good morning, Mr. Commissioner. Good morning. Good morning, everyone. Uh, uh, may I enter my formal appearance? Uh, my name is John Sinaka Goava. I'm the principal of Sunny Lawyers. I represent the interest of the community of uh, Tatana Araira, Larabara community in the Motokoitabu constituency. Mr. Commissioner, I take this opportunity to thank this commission and the legal councils for assisting my group and others who have interest in the issues at hand, and uh, your, Mr. Commissioner would appreciate that uh, we apply for leave as per the uh, amended uh, terms of reference, which my learned friend, Mr. Guerrero, has uh, alluded to. Uh, I don't need to uh, I repeat, uh, but with the greatest respect, uh, I represent the interest of my clients in this commission of inquiry to participate in such a very important, significant uh, inquiry. Thank you. Thank you. Council. As the commission, please, as indicated earlier, Commissioner, in this particular application, we too submit that the applicants have an interest insofar as amended terms of reference number one, paragraph D, quadruple D is concerned. And as such, Commissioner, we submit that 
the commission issues directions similar to that issued earlier. That is the, uh, that is the position, Commissioner. Thank you, Council. Uh, I'm satisfied with that, given the reasons uh, in relation to that, and therefore in respect of leave application number seven, the Commission directs that number one, Araira Laura Bada community is granted leave for its proper or authorized officer to appear with any legal representatives in relation to amended terms of reference, number one, in bracket D, 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 close bracket. Dated is 13th day of October, 2022, and authorized by the commission. Thank you, Council. Commissioner, if Mr. Goava could be excused. Thank you for your presence this morning. You now can be excused from the bar table. Thank you. Commissioner, I will now hand it over to my friend, Mr. Kipa, to deal with the final item on today's list. Thank you, Council. Please, this uh, Honorable Commission. Commissioner, may I mention item number four on the list? Yes. Um, it's a leave application number eight, filed by the Inahi Incorporated Land Group, which is a registered ILG, ILG number 1153. If I could invite the uh, representative for Inahi Incorporated Land Group to attend at the bar table and enter their appearance. Thank you. Any counsel? Good morning, Mr. Commissioner. Good morning. Um, my name is, may I formally introduce myself? My name is yes. uh, Mr. Noah Ripi. Uh, I am a private consultant. Yes. And I assist landowners. Uh, my appearance here today is that I am representing the Incorporated Land Group. Uh, it is from Tatana Village as well, Tatana Coco. Mm. Okay, um, uh, I filed the application for leave, and um, yes. I believe the Honorable Commission and uh, your Council's Assistant Commission will uh, allow this application to be heard as well. Yeah. Thank you, Commission. Thank you, Council. Thank you, Commissioner. As uh, indicated by my friend, Mr. Gero, um, we will not object to the application seeking leave to the extent that it seeks leave in relation to ter amended term of reference number one, paragraph D, sub paragraph Quadruple D. That is the position, Commissioner. Um, in those uh, circumstances, I will propose uh, that uh, a direction in the following terms uh, be given by the Commission, and uh, that is in respect of leave application number eight, uh, Inahi Land Group. Registered ILG number 1153 is granted leave for its proper or authorized officer to appear with any legal representatives in relation to amended term of reference number one, paragraph D, sub paragraph quadruple D. Thank you, Commissioner. Thank you, uh, Council. In line with the other, other directions, the reasons are reasonable and they are very clear. 
And therefore, in respect of leap application number eight, the commission directs that one in a he incorporated land group registration ILG number 1153 is granted leave for its proper or authorized officer to appear with any legal representatives in relation to amended term of reference one Record D, 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 close. Again, dated this 13th day of October 2022 and authorized by the Commission. Thank you, Council. Thank you, Commissioner. If uh, Mr. Rippey could be excused from the bar table. Thank you, Mr. Commissioner. Thanks for making time available this morning. You can be excused from the bar table. Thank you. Please, Commission, those are all the matters uh, for today's uh, hearing. Commission, there being no other matters and subject to any further comments or remarks uh, by the Commissioner, I'd like to ask the uh, Commission to have the proceedings uh, adjourned to the 18th of October, 2022 at 10 a.m. Thank you. Thank you, Consul. Until we return back on the 18th, which is Tuesday next week. Just a word of encouragement, read the for your benefit, read the, the rules and practices on notes that have been published on our website so that you understand how you progressing along with your, your application and the information that are relevant to you when you come back to deal with all of these things. We are approaching uh, the, the last three months of this year. And as I've said, time is running quite fast when we least expect it. And in the closure of this Commission of Inquiry, I believe that when we return back on the 18th, and as per the direction that have been issued and where you can come in, I believe that you need to work together with our councils and so as other councils that are available to other witnesses that we can bring this inquiry to the end. I know it's been quite a while now and I do not wish to cope, go past the expiry date and that's why I need to ensure that we complete this inquiry in a timely manner. Look after yourself. There's a lot of things that are happening around the country. When you don't expect that death, death will come to your door, please look after yourself. And when we come back on the 18th, as I said, you can now adjourn all the matters to Tuesday next week. Thank you. <laughs>